Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, for a budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Alrighty everyone, so today we are unstuffing my wallet and playing mini savings challenges with the rollover leftover from the week. And this is for week one of September. So we are finally into September and I have not changed this nail color. I'm telling you, I wanted to choose like a fall color, like, you know, maybe like a, I have this like darker green, that might be nice because we're in September, like going into fall. But this week, I actually am going on a trip and we're going to Narragansett, Rhode Island. We're going to be staying in an Airbnb on the beach and we're doing this with a bunch of our friends. They're gonna be there as well. So it's just gonna be a really nice time. And for beachy, I was like, let me go with this pretty pink coral again. I've been loving this color. I've been taking it off and putting the same color back on over and over. But I think this is gonna be just the perfect color for the beach this weekend. And I also did my toes the same color. So it's just really cute and I'm happy with it. So that's what's going on with me. And that's pretty much what's been going on this week is just preparing for that trip. But why don't we set this aside, grab out my wallet and we will see what we have to work with this week. So first off, right off the bat, you can see we've got some change. There's some cash. Let me pull my receipts out because I do scan all of my receipts into Fetch. And so I will definitely do that. And then here is all of the change from my wallet. So this bucket of change over here is the change that my wife had been collecting. Remember I told you guys that she had some change in a drawer downstairs. Well, she went ahead and pulled that for me and stuck it all in here. I just want to have a peek through here because you guys know I like to collect those quarters, but that is a duplicate and I think that is it. So we're good here. I don't have any of those special quarters in my change, but over here in my wife's change, we do have this one here, which I already have, but I needed a nicer version. So I'm gonna switch that one out. And then this one is a new one for my collection. So I will just pop up on the screen an image of this quarter and just a quick blurb about the person. If you just look, if you just search down the side of the list and find the name, it will tell you about the person. And I am collecting the American Women's Quarters and I have just been sticking them over here. So let's find the Anime Wong Quarter and just trade it out. So here it is. So this one I'm going to save in my change and this one I'm going to keep for my collection along with the other quarter. And we'll just put those right there, tuck them away nice and safe. And now all of this change can be counted up. So um, I can do that or I can, honestly, I can do it another day. I know it's crazy to say that, but like I have been in such a rush lately. I have been, I started working again. So I'm now working remotely part time and I'm also doing YouTube. I'm also doing Etsy. I'm also a full-time stay-at-home mom. So finding time to do everything, like filming, editing, and keeping up with your guys' YouTube videos has been pretty difficult, but I am managing, and I am honestly loving my life right now. Um, it's pretty incredible to be this busy and active and just feel like, you know, I've got something going, I've got a purpose, and I really enjoy what I do here on YouTube. So that's not gonna change. Um, but needless to say, I have been super busy. So because of that, I wanna keep this video a little bit short. So why don't we just set this jug of change aside and we'll deal with it maybe next week when I don't have to film this and then go and pack to leave to go to Rhode Island. All right, so let's take a look at the money that is left for rollover in my wallet here. All right. Alrighty, so I should probably try to organize this a little bit. And I don't think I'm doing the best of jobs here, but kind of. Okay, so this week for rollover, we have 20, 30, 
40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So we've got 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54 dollars. And I'm just gonna have a quick peek through and make sure that none of these are star notes. Sometimes I forget to look in my change back to see if I get a star note, but they are not. And so we are good to set this money up. Perfect. And so there is our money for our savings challenges for this week. Let's start with our turtle savings challenge. And I think we should put $10 in today. And so we will just color these two fives right up here. So this challenge is from Lisa Grateful Me and it's from her Etsy shop, The Happy Mailbox Co. on Etsy. I love this challenge because it makes me think of my little sea turtle that we adopted. Oh yeah, we're doing 10. And he has not been spotted again, but you know what? I was watching a video where I popped up a photo of him recently. It just makes me smile, it makes me so happy. Um, I really love just ocean creatures in general. So this one brings me a lot of joy. Okay, so we decided to do $10 today, so let's put that there. Let's go ahead and open this one up. And we are going to add the $10 in. So let's give this a count and see what we have in total. We've got 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. I think that's 52, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2. All right, so we've got $52 in the Turtle Savings Challenge, which is awesome. And the next one is this beautiful Fall Thanksgiving Savings Challenge. So let me get this one out. Alrighty, so this is the Thanksgiving Savings Challenge and this, and now that we're like kind of coming into fall and everyone has started doing their fall savings challenges, I'm like kind of wishing that this one was a part of my fall, but I do this one every week. I save my $5 along with a lot of other people on YouTube are doing this as well because this one is a collaboration from Lisa Grateful Me, The Crafty Saver, and Donna Power by Creativity. And so, yeah, if you guys like this challenge, you can get it by going over to The Crafty Saver and getting yourself this challenge as well. I think it's so super cute, especially now that like pumpkin spice lattes are out and I'm just like feeling all of the fall vibes. So uh, even though my nails don't match the fall vibes, that's okay. I have been loving this cute little challenge. So we're gonna do five in here, but let's use up some of these ones. One, two, three, four, five dollars and grab out our envelope. So I wanted to tell you guys that I'm actually still kind of sick. Um, it's crazy. We were pretty much sick the entire month of August and I got a double ear infection and my son got a double ear infection. So in the Thanksgiving savings challenge, we have 20, 40, 45, 50, one, two, three, four, five. So we've got $55 in there, which is great. And so let me get out the Mickey savings challenge and I will tell you more about what is going on. So here is Mickey. And is it crazy that I want to do four dice today? I think I really do. I'm going to roll all four of these dice and I'm going to save whatever I roll. So here we go. Ooh, a couple of big ones. Five, six, four, that's 10. 15, 16, 17, 18. So we got $18 to save, which is almost a 20, um, which is great. I might actually color in another two and then do that. But let's start with coloring in. I like to set them aside so that I know when I've done each one. Let's color in the six first. So my son actually just got sick again, and he currently has another double ear infection, and because of that, he actually had a rupture, and so he will be going to ear, nose, and throat, and I'm kind of sad that he's been getting sick so often, but yeah, that's what's going on with him, so there's our six, and then I'm going to do this four right here as well. And as far as I am concerned, my ears were still like filled up with fluid for a long time. So I went back to the doctors and they let me know that I had developed a polyp in my nose. And because of that, it was like creating the fluid that kept going into my ears. So that's why my ears weren't clearing. 
um, which is crazy. I'm going to do this three here. And so she let me know that if it doesn't get better and my ears don't clear up, I might have to go to ear, nose, and throat and have surgery to get the polyp removed, which is just wild. And I really am kind of starting to feel a little bit better. My ears are kind of getting a little bit better. So I'm hopeful that maybe that can actually happen for me and I will actually be able to um, get better and not have to get surgery because I'm pretty scared about that. Um, so yeah, that's what has been going on lately. A lot of ear issues for me and my son. Um, okay, so I did the five, I did the six and the four, so that's 10, that's 15, that's 16, 17, 18. I'm gonna do this 20, and I'm going to color in another two down here. I'm gonna be like out of twos before I know it. All right, so there's that. Let's grab out our envelope and we will put $20 into Mickey, which means we are $20 closer to saving $315. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77 dollars in Mickey. That is awesome. And this one comes from Donna Power by Creativity, if you guys like it or you're interested in it at all. Next, we're going to do my Etsy sales by state. So let me grab that out. Alrighty, everyone. So this is my Etsy sales by state. And every week for every sale that I get, I save $1. And so this week I had six sales, which is amazing. And I just want to thank you guys so, so much for that. Um, and the first one came from Rhode Island, which is crazy because that's where I'm going this weekend. Um, what color should I do for Rhode Island? It's such a tiny, tiny little state. I don't want it to get lost. I think I want to do a blue like this because we are going to the beach to Rhode Island this weekend. And I also want to say that Rhode Island is where my mother is from. And so Rhode Island is home for a lot of my family. Um, so that's pretty amazing. And I'm going there this weekend, so it just feels really special. So thank you so much for purchasing from my Etsy shop from Rhode Island. Alrighty, so that tiny little state there, if you guys don't know, that is actually the smallest state in the United States. So there it is, tiny little blue Rhode Island. Alrighty, so the next one I got is from Alabama. So thank you so much for purchasing from my Etsy shop from Alabama. And Alabama is right here. Now I need to figure out what color. I think maybe this light green might look nice over here in Alabama. So I'm gonna go with this one here. And so for Alabama, it's so funny. I've never been to Alabama. But my wife and I, we actually watch a lot of like the Jersey Shore and all the little like spinoffs. And so we watched Floribama Shore and we absolutely loved that show. And so they obviously stayed like right here in like that Florida, Alabama kind of coast area. So we have never been, but if we ever did go, we wanted to go kind of near like where that show was filmed. So that is Alabama, and um, thank you so much for purchasing from my Etsy shop. All right, so the next one is actually going to be Connecticut, which is right over here next to, um, next to Rhode Island. So Connecticut is actually where my friends live. So the friends that I met in college were from Connecticut, and later in this month, we are actually going down to visit them. They have since moved to Massachusetts. So we'll actually be traveling to Massachusetts. Um, but they are from Connecticut. And so that is where we used to go to visit um, my friends that I met from in college and their family and friends. So that is Connecticut. And thank you so much for that purchase as well. The next one is Kansas. And so Kansas is right here, I believe. And for Kansas, I think I want to, why don't we go with this like light yellow kind of color. And so I have never been to Kansas and the closest I've ever been to almost going would be Oklahoma. 
because again, when we purchased our dog, that's where she was from. She's a Corgi. Um, and so we probably would have had to drive right through there to get to her, but she ended up getting driven all the way out to us. So I have never been to Kansas, but thank you so much for that purchase. This state like map is looking so beautiful. It really makes me super happy. All right, so the very next one I will need to get stickers for, and let's go ahead. Alrighty, so these are the tiny, oh, I almost burnt something. I'm telling you, I'm really not the best with candles. One time I left one burning for a long time in the office. Okay, so I need to pay attention to what I'm doing, but um, let's grab a color here, a little sticker. I think I'm gonna go with purple. All right, so we got a tiny little sticker. Maybe I should get a bigger sticker because this is a big state. Texas, but I've been using the big stickers for um, international ones. So I am just going to put this star right here in the middle. Isn't that funny? This is Texas and this is called the Lone Star State. And I got a purchase from Texas this week, which has already been colored in. So I'm putting a star in the Lone Star State. I think that's so super cute. And thank you so much for purchasing from my shop from Texas. And then finally, we will need one of these big stickers because I do have digital downloads on my Etsy shop as well as physical products. And so I got a digital download purchase from Australia again. So that is amazing. Thank you so much for purchasing from my shop from Australia. I already had a purchase from Australia and so that makes me super happy. My grandparents are actually down in Australia right now visiting family members. So that's pretty incredible. And I am here still in New England, but it's about to be fall. It's about to be my favorite like season for New England. So I'm not mad about that. All right, so for this week, we have $6 going into my Etsy sales by state. So five, six, and we will grab out the envelope. And so if my math is correct, we should have $43 in this envelope now because I have had 43 sales. And so with the $6 added in, we now have 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Looks like I have done everything correct, which is awesome. And we have $43 saved in this envelope. Alrighty, so then let's see. The next one we have, we still have 10 and we've got a few straggly dollars here. So we have my save 100 times savings challenge. We could do that. Or um, my penny savings, I'm saving because I just didn't want to deal with the change this week. I did not find any star notes. And we already completed Maddie's scratch off. I'm almost wondering if we should bring something new in, but I don't think we are going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is grab back out my 100 envelope challenge. So let me grab that right quick. Okay, I'm back and this is not my 100 envelope challenge. So this, I remember I started this challenge. This one came from Lisa Grateful Me over at the Happy Mailbox Co. as well. And it looks like I am in need of trying to finish up some summer challenges. So although my 100 envelope challenge definitely needs some love, um, I am going to choose this Tropical Sunshine Flamingo Challenge instead. We have $13 to work with. So I can roll these two dice and even if I got two sixes, I would be okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna roll both of these dice here and see what we get. Oh, we got two. <laughs> so I'm gonna fill in a one and a one for $2. And I'm gonna pull the $2 there. And then I think I'm gonna risk it and go again. So here we go. Wow, we got two again. Can you believe it? <laughs> what is with these dice? Okay, so another $2. So let me just grab my calculator because right now we're up to $4. And I'll just do it like that instead. So I'll put the four there. 
Let's roll again and see how close we can get to 13. Okay, so we got a 10. So now I'm gonna have an IOU for a dollar unless I can find a dollar. Okay, so one. Oh wait, why did I put one? I should have put a five, right? Okay, I'm making, I'm turning this into a five and I'm putting a five here. Okay, so if we add in the five plus the five, we should have 14 and we only had 13 to start with. So five, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. So let me do this, guys, okay? Because I really don't wanna have an IOU. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's grab out our envelope. Alrighty, so this is the binder where the envelope is for this one. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take it out and I'm going to add this one into minis since we did complete Mari's savings challenge. And so why don't we put this one right after Mickey? So we'll have both our dice games right next to each other. And let's go ahead and count what we have in this envelope for now. So we have a 20 in here right now and we are adding in 10, 11, 12, 13. Plus, we owe it a dollar. So that right now is 33. And I'm going to give it one, two, three, four quarters. This is a little bit weird, but there's my dollar and I don't have an IOU. So we put our $14 in. We've got $34 in this challenge so far. I put it into the minis so that we can try to finish this one up as soon as possible since it's summary and yeah it's a super cute challenge so um that's going to be it for today's video we have saved all of the leftover money for the week and we are ready to go into cash stuffing so the next video you guys see from me will be my week one september cash stuffing but that's going to be it for today i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and other than that i will see you guys in my next one bye